Hello everybody, it's Scott Omato and this is an updated video on how to install Fabric, uh, the 114 mod loader for Minecraft. Okay, um, I have another video on the channel, but it was when Fabric was first released, so I'm, it's gotten easier to install, and so I'll do an updated video here. Uh, but if you don't know, uh, Fabric runs much like Forge, uh, but at 114, and has plenty of mods available for it for 114 today so you can run mods in 114 and there's some really good ones out there i'll do uh, another video on some mods and how to handle them and stuff but here we're going to do install so i'm going to leave a link in the description that takes you to the fabric install page which is fabric.ac.pl slash use okay and on this page here you basically now have wizards available to you and you have four options that are available for multi mc mc updater vanilla or the server the minecraft server um, we're going to do multi mc but i'll just briefly go over those as well now when you select the button you'll have a pre-fill drop down that has the newest versions available so if you want to run the newest then you're good to go so you have two options here one option is to click the button to download a multi mc essentially a mod pack an instance okay and so all you would need to do then is go into a multi mc application and then drag that guy into the window okay just drag it into the window is one way of doing it and it will offer to install offer to give it a name and all of that and so you can hit okay and fabric is now basically installed once you launch so you can look at that by editing edit instance and see that here's the information on fabric if you was to hit edit you could see the json parameters and stuff of what files it's pulling down and where it's going to put them and all that kind of stuff okay so once you launch it'll pull down minecraft and the sounds and fabric and everything and you'll be good to go all right so that's one method another method to do the same thing with that file that you downloaded is to uh, hit the add instance button here and go to this import from zip tab along the side and then choose browse and browse out to your download folder and you'll be able to get that same file that you downloaded and do the same process now another way to do it is is they offer a button here the second button that says copy multi mc instance url so grab that link from there you've copied a link to your clipboard when you click it and you can paste that link inside the text field here without needing to download any file to your disk because um, you would basically throw this away after you were done the zip file that you downloaded uh, but you probably want to give this a name uh, so you know name it fabric and then it's probably a good idea to name it based on what build it is it'll tell you here, here it's build 7 114 build 7 uh, so fabric 114 build 7 and hit ok and there you go it'll put it there same same deal uh, ready to install once you launch okay so guys that's it for multi mc super super easy to do now mcl updaters pretty much same way you just copy the mc updater uh, entry that you'll need um, then vanilla gives you an installer now to install into the vanilla launcher obviously but you'll get the a windows exe or a universal uh, java jar that you can run and it's the same thing for the server okay one more thing to mention is there is the ability to download a json file okay i showed you uh, here in the window that basically that's what this fabric thing is doing is installing this json file for you okay that'll tell you where to pull stuff down so you could do that directly if you wanted you, you know choose add empty and then give a name and uh, like a, a namespace and all that kind of stuff a little bit more advanced stuff but easy enough to do and it's good to have that option so anyway guys that's it super simple these days to install fabric and again tons of mods are out there guys uh, there's there's a couple, three dozen probably easy I, I've got a mod pack with about 80 mods so you know that's a nice pretty nice mod pack anyway that's gonna be it for this video i hope you enjoyed it this is scott omato thanks so much for watching guys we'll see you in the next one bye bye